Hey everyone, Scott McCartney here. I'm coming to you from inside a Boeing 777. From inside an Airbus A319. From inside an Airbus A320, where I'm testing noise levels in various parts of the plane with this decibel meter. Thank you, Kevin Chris Eats, for landing. I'll give you some tips on how to find peace and quiet on your next flight. Well, at least as much as you can control it. A decent ride today. Well, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is... Noise matters inside planes because it fatigues us. One of the reasons that air travel is so tiring. It can also make it harder to sleep. Well, maybe not for this guy. Tip one, consider the plane. I measured noise levels for takeoff, climb, cruise, and landing on several different planes. For each measurement, the planes tended to be pretty similar. Takeoff was, as you might expect, typically the loudest part of any journey, with the planes averaging about 84 decibels. Climb was about 82 decibels, and cruise about 78 decibels. And landing can be equally noisy to take off when thrust reversers are used on the runway to slow the plane quickly. On a Boeing 777, that got my meter back up over 95 decibels. For reference, that's louder than a power mower, but still quieter than the New York City subway. Weirdest was this obnoxious grinding hydraulic noise an A320 makes after landing. It hit about 84 decibels and sounds like two cats in a tug of war. It's actually pumps balancing fuel between wing tanks. In general, newer planes were quieter than older because the engines are quieter, and wide-body planes like the 777 were quieter than the single aisle jets, like the A320. So my tip, look at the plane you'll be flying before you book your ticket. Just about every booking site will list it in the details of your reservation. Tip two, select your seat wisely. Where you sit affects your noise level. Aisle seats where I'm sitting now are generally a bit quieter than windows. The window seat where I'm sitting now is actually a noisier seat. That's because you're closer to the air rushing across the skin of the airplane. And guess what? The front of the airplane is actually quieter than the back of the airplane. It's no wonder they put first class up front. In the front of the plane, I measured an average decibel level of about 75 when cruising in business class on a 777. The noise level at one of the rear exit doors behind the engines was about 80 on the same flight. That's equivalent to a garbage disposal or food blender. One reason it's quieter up front is proximity to the engines. The key is booking a seat in front of the engines, no matter what section you choose. But don't ever take a middle seat thinking a couple of decibels will make it a better ride. It just doesn't overcome the other discomforts. Tip number three, defend yourself. No matter how careful you are when you book, you can't control the noises around. No matter how careful you are when you book, can't control the noises around you, and they are often the loudest things of the flight. I got a few hundred decibel readings along the way, including a bin slam and a toilet flush. But the most consistently noisy part of any plane ride is the announcements. By rule, they have to be heard above other noises. So crew announcements come in between 92 and 95 decibels on many planes. You see, it's in the landing position with the armrest down. So cover your ears. I found both over-the-ear headphones and earplugs, the classic foam kind, work well. I prefer noise-canceling headphones. It's in the name, after all. Oh wait, am I speaking too loud? 